Right, we have some numbers tonight, Lonnie. Not eye popping, not that bad. No, overall, I think it's a pretty calm setup that we're looking at for this week. Now, there's going to be some rain out there, certainly some cold air. I mean, overnight low temperature, you're 30 degrees right now, it goes down to 27. Very similar to where you started off this morning. You start off this morning at 26. Well, yeah, lots of sunshine out there, and you only get up to 35 degrees, which is 10 degrees below average. Tomorrow, you don't get as much sunshine, but you actually get up to average, maybe a degree above, 46. So again, more clouds than what we had today. Maybe a passing snowflake for a few of you out there, or a passing raindrop for others. I'll show you what's going on. Uh, there's a, a, maybe an upper-level snowflake around Sullivan County or Dutchess County. Not too much out there. Bigger picture is going to show you. All right, the blue and that pink color shows you the cold air. And you can see maybe there's a couple of snowflakes that will filter through uh, during the nighttime hours. Overall, though, this warm front is going to be lifting to the north. And that's going to bring with it milder air. It's also got sort of like a pathway for these little bouts of energy to make their way into the area. I think the best chance is going to come out of this system out around the Pacific Northwest. But here's how it times out. We're going to be, you know, just fine during the overnight hours. And then you get into tomorrow. This is 730. Here's your first chance for some precip. That light green is not much, but it is a little chance for uh, a little raindrop out there. Maybe you see a little pellet of sleet or a snowflake north of the area. Not much. Wednesday looks okay. By Thursday, this is very early Thursday, 1 o'clock in the morning. Morning. Well, here's your second bout for a chance of almost like nuisance precipitation, we're calling it. But yeah, it would be rain out there because you're pretty mild. And then we're going to make our way into Friday. Behind that front, the colder air has set up. And then by Saturday, okay, there's your third chance for some precipitation. Again, it's not terribly heavy. Uh, maybe a little sleep well north of the area. More likely to find some precipitation on Sunday. But with milder air in place, it's just more likely to be rain, but it is a bit more substantial and more widespread. All right, my numbers across the board look like this. 46 for Tuesday, 50 on Wednesday. And again, there are nuisance showers mixed in here, maybe some snowflakes for a few of you. You're 42 on Thursday, and then by Friday, only 23 in the morning, getting up to only 39 degrees on Friday. So there's your cold air. 45 come Saturday, 58 on Sunday. But again, Sunday's got the warmer air, better chance for some rain Sunday, especially going into Monday. Now, you may have noticed recently a change in how we present our weather around here. It's our forecast, and it's called a special warning that we give you about, about specific days of the week. The CBS2 weather team is going to take you through our first alert forecasting promise. So I'm urging you, let's watch our special presentation of first alert weather. Predict and prepare. It's this Thursday at 530 right here on CBS2, and we'll make some sense of all of this first alert stuff. It's something that, look, you need to know our storms are just getting stronger, and they're getting more plentiful, so you want to be up to speed on everything, and right. we do our best to do just that. Words to live by, Lonnie. Thank you.